Okay. <clears throat> Welcome everybody to Halo Clans. Uh, today we have a filthy child, leader of CENTCOM. What's and... going on? Well, let's get right into this. Uh, can you give us a little bit of your uh, clan history? Well, my clan history uh, in the beginning, I came really into the big, uh, I'd say like, clan raid scene about five years ago. Um, my first real clan that was actually like worth even mentioning was probably the old UUF, which I know I'm probably going to get backlash for because they're not one of the most liked clans. Um, at the time, um, Sentry Director was not leading it. A guy named Zektorn was because Director was out on his Xbox. Anyways, um, around my first year into uh, the UUF, I was conscripted by two people, Sentry Smash and Sentry Smith, Sentry Smash and Sentry Onyx to the S2 program. I was originally conscripted as Solomon out of a joke, and it was an inside joke between a few people. But after that, um, I went between a few clans, nothing really serious. I couldn't find any real UNSC clans that I actually liked. I mean, most UNSC clans nowadays, you change your gamer tag, you're a Spartan, which is kind of uh, annoying for the people who actually work to get there. Um, I don't know, about three years in, uh, I joined Highcom with a uh, Kurt here. I uh, was a Spartan too for, I really don't know, like maybe two years. Um, after that, I joined Fairy Tale and Halo 5, which was probably the worst decision I've ever made. After that, I went into the 99th Regiment, and I kind of found out um, that they're not, I guess, like as good as they used to be. No, I mean good, I mean organized. I mean, they have their website up, but they don't really have dedicated leaders keeping, like, activity, basically. And, you know, clans will die without activity. So I decided to start my own clan. You are going to see a clan called CENTCOM. Um, have canon conscriptions. You know, not just anybody can become a Spartan, yada, yada, yada. You know, I make people really feel like they earn their rank. It's not just given to them through favoritism. I mean, if you bring me, like, 20 recruits, you know, obviously, I'll try and put you forward, but that doesn't mean I'm going to put you as a Spartan. Um, I started it about, I'd say, anywhere between five, four, five, six months ago. Um, actively, I have around 50 guys on uh, my roster. It's, like, at least last time I checked, I have around 80. And what I define as an active guy is someone that's on at least two to three times out of the week, actively participates in training, drills, raids, practice raids. Um, I keep my guys active, honestly, whether it be practice raiding, team tech, just, you know, overall another experience because, you know, Halo 5 and its multiplayer, whether it be Arena and Warzone, can get a little boring if you spam it enough. That's why people make raids. You build bases and you try and take them. Um, I've gone to war with a few clans, one being Aegis, other one being Plague, last one being Gabe the Abaddon, or AOD, I believe that's what they're called. Um, all three have been recorded, are in, basically on my clips. My whole uh, opinion on raiding and going to war is, um, I'm not a big, I'm not big on strict ROE, um, I come from the the beginning of when raiding was really a thing, you know, there wasn't really an established ROE. There was no, oh, you can't have this or you can't have that. It was, okay, there needs there needs to be an actual way in the base. You know, everybody in the raiding community, if you were hardcore, you could take any base, even one that only required you to get into it with a jetpack. There was bunny jumping, using anything to your advantage. You know, that's what a Spart that's what Spartans were made for. And um and clans, you know, they saw what they needed to do and they got it done. But you have clans like Plague that have their whole inner colonies and want to make strict ROE because they were just mad on reach because they couldn't win. And, you know, they didn't make the rules, so they they can't make a community ROE and expect everyone to follow it. All right. You kind of answered the next question, which was member count. Uh, hello? Yeah, I'm here. All right. Make it sure. Um, clan goals. What is the goals of your clan? Uh, the goals is to honestly, um, 
It's to find a void for people that not only enjoy playing Halo, but enjoy the lore behind it. Um, to provide a safe place and just fun place for, you know, guys and gals to come and play Halo. Um, strong community and just to, uh, you know, fill, uh, you know, fill the time before a new Halo comes uh, game comes out. Because honestly, for anybody who hasn't raided, it's a really fun experience. It can be a shitty experience. Or it can be a fun experience. It all depends on who you're raiding and who's leading. And my ultimate goal is to stay like the way I was at the beginning, all until up, you know, until the end. I mean, I've never changed my personality or how I treat people. All right. Uh, what was your toughest fight overall? Uh, toughest fight would probably have to be when we were doing a meeting on one of our raid maps, the Spirit of Fire. Um, one of my friends, I'm not going to state names, it's in my clips, uh, told me he wanted to join my game because he was thinking about joining the clan. Little did I know he was actually an Aegis. He joined the game. Um, Aegis somehow joined the game on an invite only. Um, and they went to raid us. It was... Nine of us. Versus... You know, obviously seven of them. Um, I didn't know at the time, obviously, that he was a spy. So I gave him a position at the front lines. And... He tried to kill two of my Spartans and me. He managed to put down three of my Marines before we killed him. Um, what ended up happening after that is the enemy got a railgun and we were forced um, inside the base but pushed out eventually. The reason it was hard and why it was most difficult is because it was very unexpected. Um, and everybody didn't necessarily know how to react. Um, I saw it in the kill feed, and I said engage, and he was put down, but it was a simple fact that, you know, you can't really be too careful who you let in your cleanse and who you let in a raid map. You always need to have backup plans, whether it be closing off the base completely or just making sure you regain control. And like I said, if they try and get a spy in and kill you from behind, that becomes a surprise raid. I mean, this is just... Community raid rules 101. I mean, anybody can go back and look at any raid from Reach. And before anybody says, oh, well, Reach is an old game, Halo 5 is new, doesn't matter. You know, it's it's like saying you're going to train S2s on Halo 5. You know, you can't say you're canon and do that. All right. Uh, outstanding opponents. Like, the people that you've seen as, like, actual threats and have fought honorably on the battlefield. Um. Honestly, that would actually um, have to go to Aegis now. Um, just because of the way they act after war. Um, they... They're not ones to talk shit or anything. Um, usually, like, if they lose, or even if they win, they'll make it a point to go in the party and say, hey, GG, you could have done this, you could have done that uh, better, or whatever. So, in my opinion, they're the, one of the most respectable clans out there. A lot of them just are just a bunch of cocky kids that really are toxic, so they're one of the most respectable. All right. <clears throat> For those who don't know, explain how your uh, ranking system works. Well, for anybody that joins without prior clan experience, or for that matter, any if you try to say you're a Spartan and you don't have any proof of conscription, you start out as a Marine. We have three cadet classes and then three enlisted ranks. The three, the, the three cadet classes go CDT1, CDT2, CDT3. And then you have four enlisted ranks, which are E1, E2, E3, E4. Um, I don't want to reveal the ranking system for that, but basically, in layman's terms, every uh, number is basically a uh, higher rank than the other. Um, after that, you basically get into um, ODSTs, which, if I remember correctly, um, that's strictly under my ODST leader. He picked the ranks for that, but it's basically canon out of fleet con. Um, well, not necessarily their ranking structure, but something similar. Um, 
a conscripted Spartan basically has the rank of uh, anywhere from a lieutenant um, to a general. Um, a active conscripted uh, conscripted Spartan four has honestly full control over any Marines or ODSTs. Um, an active S three. Um, they have uh, full control over Marines and ODSTs. Any active S2s have control over everybody. Um, when you get to a Spartan rank, you're basically, I don't have to say anything to you. You basically know what you have to do. As an example, um, Spartan 4s, they'll never operate alone. I only have Spartan 4 fire teams. They go fire team Castle, fire team Majestic, fire team Shadow, and fire team Osiris. Um, I'm going to have a noble team for S3s and a couple headhunter teams wearing wrath armor because they're basically the newest S4s head, uh, headhunters based on canon. If you read the description. Um, Spartan 2 fire teams, blue team, red team, gray team. Um, that's the only ones I want right now. Uh, a lot of people try to have, uh, you know, like Gypsy Company or... As a as a prime example, the beta companies uh, and gamma companies that defended Reach, but those were teams that were put together very quickly to defend Reach and were not on Reach. All right. <clears throat> so, what is your uh, clan's current raid win loss ratio? Well, if anybody can actually provide proof otherwise, uh, we don't have any raid losses. Um, every raid that I've ever done has been recorded on my clips for anybody that wants to check it out. Um, and it's not because we use multiple snipers or all power weapons or power-ups, you know, there's only one sniper on map. Um, and usually one power weapon per person. It's not like 15 railguns or fucking like 20 snipers. You know, our raids are pretty balanced. And the thing is, is I give enemies mantises, wraiths, BRs, and hydras. If you've been raiding as long as me, when did you even get a pistol on Reach? You know, it's I try to make it fair. You know, your map need and how you know if they're going to be able to take it, they need something to be able to take it with. I mean, the fact that I give them a mantis alone speaks very highly of how fair I try to make my raid maps and how confident I am in my troops. All right, so. uh... Now, would you like to give a shout out to anybody, like uh, put out a recruitment message, anything like that, before this ends? Yeah, if you'd like to join CENTCOM, uh, message me, a filthy child. Um, the only shout out I really want to give to is HICOM. Uh, they're starting back up. They're one of the most canon clans out there, and honestly, I'm I'm obviously allied with Kurt, the guy making the video, but if you honestly want Canon clans definitely join ICOM or CENTCOM. We work together, we fight together. All right, thank you for uh, coming on. Till next time, this is uh, UNSC Kurt051 signing out.